Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is Jersey and today we are bringing you a brand new valley tour and today we are visiting Relly Anna and I'm so excited to be here, she's, you know, we see her on the streams, we see her on the chat, but now I get to visit her valley, her valley and you know, they're, they're, Again, again, there's nothing like a valley tour to get inspiration, to grab those ideas that will inspire, that will push us forward to new ideas, to new design, to new way to decorate or ways to use items, the way we the people do their layouts. And that was something that is super special every single time we do one of these. Okay, so like always, like always, right? I, I come in, I look all the way down, and one of the first thing I always like to do is stand right here and do a turnaround, you know, and get the beautiful view, the beautiful design of what is their plaza creation. And look at this. First of all, look at all these butterflies. Look at all these beautiful butterflies just, <laughs> just flying everywhere. Just makes it feel even more, more magical. But look at this. I love the way this plaza is looking. I love the way it's feeling. Look at all the trees. Look at amazingly gorgeous. And then when you come over here on the sides, the first thing that we see is this the screw store. Very popular spot. You know, I even have mine right there temporarily. You know, but then we got some of the houses, some of the OG characters right over here in the top in the plaza. Not something that we see every single day. I really can't wait to go down there and see that. And then we got two of the big buildings right over here on the side. So Let's get going. Let's, let's get this started. All right, so we're going to start walking on over here. And as we get to the plaza, you can start seeing the beauty of the nature, right? Like, that's one of the first things I get right now. I feel I feel like this is not city style. This is not a, a city block or a plaza itself. This feels more like almost like a little neighborhood that we're going, you know, with the beautiful trees, with the beautiful surroundings, with the beautiful lighting that we have right now. And everything is just absolutely beautiful like like look at all these lights they were their own oh man okay all right all right let me regroup let me regroup because i'm already getting a little pump a little pump on how beautiful this is okay so we have right here so we got the the restaurant right right here we got remy home i like how they're sitting next to each other by the way kind of like extending one another and then this has been extended as an outdoor patio eating area utilizing both of the building now i think this is smart i think this is brilliant i think this is you know if you don't know what how to do maybe you want a, a bigger outdoor area why not do this putting these two buildings together they look alike they match you know they got a brick the same tone and making a big outdoor sitting area i think this is brilliant i think this is a absolutely such a smart move in the way it is designed and decorated and again the beautiful chairs the beautiful tables and all the food out here and then another thing that we gotta give a look is right here look at this look at this composition now look at the carpet right underneath it as you can see we see the beautiful carpet look at the bushes look at, at just everything and i love the statues right here on the front i think this compromise everything from one end to the other as a courtyard patio restaurant is absolutely perfect perfect and then you know this is for that very special reserve section that special day right over here you know somebody really wanted that vip treatment and they're sitting right here and they're gonna get this beautiful table with the chairs with all their stuff and amazing looking dessert now again this composition completely is absolutely gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. I really like the way this came together. Now, if we look on the side over here, you're gonna see the little edge work with the little flowers. Really nice touch, just to bring a little more color, you know, into the bill. Now, we arrive right here. So before I go any farther, this is how I arrive. And I landed right here. And this is the first thing you see when you land. Beautiful. This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I love the way all of this. It just is perfect framing. Not just where the item is, right? Not just that, but the background, but then the foreground. You know, having all this pink and the bushes right over here. What a composition. What a way 
to just when people come in to this valley, they're greeted with such beauty, such beauty, such beauty. Okay, so we're gonna take this passageway over here, and as you can see, you know, look at this. Just look at everything. Look at the way the nature, the flower, you know, those beautiful vine lamps right over here. They're absolutely gorgeous, just illuminating. I don't, I still don't understand how some people can make these areas feel so much bigger. We have the same plaza side, but how you make it feel so big that you can feed so much, so many items in one area is absolutely amazing amazing what they do but as you can see we got a beautiful garden over here i love this pink highlights everywhere right this uh little pink trees in their vase in their pots just over here just highlighting this beautiful garden and then on the side we have this beautiful piano area you know i think this is absolutely beautiful and again it's just complementing one bill to the other right and how many times we've been to garden area and there's this beautiful grand piano you know right there and people are playing it and people are walking the garden seeing the flowers seeing the beautiful nature that what this reminds me of and it's such well done i i bravo rihanna bravo it's just absolutely stunning okay so as you can see you know as we're walking you know you're gonna see this beautiful like the flower arrangement look at look at this Look at how beautiful this is. I'm gonna leave it here so you can maybe take a snapshot, take a screenshot because look at how nice. You got the bushes, you got that again highlighted of the purple and the pink going on over here. If we pan the camera down, look at the new archways. Absolutely lovely to be already being used here. Already. This is absolutely gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And again, look at the archway over here. It just makes me happy. It doesn't just makes you happy. They truly should make you super happy when you see stuff like this. You know, and the pink in this island is looking absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I just love it. I love it. Okay, so before we walk, keep walking, I want to look at this direction to see. And oh my goodness, look at the frame. Look at all that color red popping, popping out, coming creating such a beautiful backdrop this is gorgeous this is just absolutely gorgeous oh my word oh my word okay so we're gonna walk to the other side over here as you can see then we got scrooge right now it's putting scrooge in this corner is very popular you know a lot of people put uh love putting scrooge in this particular corner but we want to see how she did it and look at this little now i love that we got a stall we got the workbench table over here we got a little bicycle like this is great this is great and another great way to put the stalls over here right next to the store if you need to if you need more room if you need more room for this this is great i love it i love it and again the beautiful statue to really highlight a little more and give this building a little more flair you know i think it's a great touch when people do kind of stuff like that to make even the buildings that are given to us make them more elegant Make it more fashion, you know? I, it's amazing. It truly is. And then again, another beautiful composition. Once again, right over here. Look at the composition. Look at the design. Look at the rock, the bushes, just everything. And again, a little accent of pink. And that's what we're seeing in this island so far. It's like a little trademark. A little trademark over here. All right. So as we're going to turn over here, then, of course, we got we can go to the Sunlight Plateau over here. We're not going to go there just yet. But now we got something very unique that I don't encounter every time I do a valley tour. Is we got homes in the plaza. So, of course, we got the Goofy area. And look at this. We got a beautiful working station right over here. Fully functional. This is smart. This is very smart. And I like, like, we got a couple, like, items out here, like the, the little uh, camera machine over here, the little boat, you know, the little table, you know, a beautiful, beautiful little working area. Now we come over here and now we got like a little area that we're, you know, a couple more stalls. And I like this idea, like all these stalls are kind of all together, just making a bill, utilizing each and one another. I love this, I, I really do. The little plushies, the little design, and again, the beautiful vine lamps that she's been using across this area. 
Now we got the beautiful carriage over here, more like a decoration piece, and this is really nice. I like that it's being used as a decoration piece and not more like a vehicle or nothing like that. Just a little, just a little decoration. And we see that sometimes in neighborhoods, right? We see statues, we see, you know, uh, fountains or stuff like that in neighborhoods just to make the neighborhood a little more beautiful. I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, so now we get to the next home and look at this beautiful, look at this. Oh my word, so I'm gonna take a top shot like this. Look at all the plants, just the way everything is laid out. This is so good. Oh my gosh, this makes me so happy. It's just a little outdoor garden and they're working, maybe they're planting it, maybe this is their side job and they just, this is so good. This is so good. And a great way to utilize all the flower pots, all the flower pots are here. I mean, I mean, look at this. And adding the pumpkins right there and the flower pots just falling down on the ground, just tipped over. Beautiful, this is absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. You know, it's so clever. It's so clever when people go out of the way and create more, more, especially next to the homes, right? A lot of times, we don't do it or we just do a something simple. I like the way she's approaching it. Now, look at this over here. Now, as you can see, this is the way down, right? We got the stairs, we'll be down. Can't wait to get down there. But look how she's hiding. If you're coming from the stairs, the way she's hiding with the street, with the dividers, with the bushes, everything right over here, looking just gray as a little side yard, you know, because this is the yard for the homes, as you can see. And then, and then I like this take. Look at this. This is a beautiful yard. A beautiful yard. You know, you can imagine Pluto being right here in the little dog house. This is great. This is great. You know, they got a little campfire or maybe they're, you're gonna do barbecue, maybe do a little smoking, you know, something. They're doing something. What a great way, great way again, to do something next to the homes. And then again, on the side, leading to the other way to go down into the meadow, uh, we have a beautiful, beautiful landscape design. And this is one of the great things about this kind of tours like this, right? It's getting that inspiration either for landscaping, for home, for the way the placement of trees, the placement of lights. Look at how beautiful this walkway is. Like this is absolutely beautiful. So, so beautiful. Okay, so now we, got, we wanna go down into the next section, the next section of the valley. So we're gonna go into the meadow. Now, again, we got a beautiful archway. We got beautiful lights, more lights, and then the red. What a great composition. What a great composition. Like, look at the contrast. This is outstanding. It just pops. It just makes you want to go here. It makes you wanna see what's happening. What is happening here? And that's the feeling that we get, right? So we're gonna go down here. And one of the first things that usually I like to do, I come to this section and I like to look uh, left and right, right? So we take the camera to the left. And as you can see, we got a lot of walkway, a lot of walkway. So I'm excited to see what the walkways are for. And it seems like if you sneak peek, it seems like we get into a little farming area. And I really like that. Now, uh, just a little warning, a lot of this, are completed but not fully completed. So there will be empty spots. And, and Rihanna explained me that she's getting closer to be done, you know, but it can be showcased. But there's things that may be missing that still need to be added, but we'll see that how it feels. Okay, so now we get to the beautiful red. I like this idea, like it's still covered. Like you still cannot see. This is actually very unique, very different than any other place, once again, that I've been. Okay, but we're gonna go this way I always like to go left and now we're gonna walk in the pathway now as you can see we got a beautiful walkways right over here and really stands out again creating contrast against the grass and the brown right creating division you know uh, you can go both ways you can still keep it with grass if you wanted to but as you can see I love the idea of this walkway I love the idea of this pathing the way she's creating it because it looks absolutely gorgeous and look at again, look at the beautiful framework. Look at the beautiful framework. It just, ah, it's such a good way to use this item next to the statues. Everything is complementing one another beautifully. And then look at the vine lamps behind the statues. 
to bring in that light. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I mean, you're going to hear it. That's the word of the day. That's the word of the stream. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So as you can see, uh, it seems like this is my feel for what I'm observing. It feels like this is a little farming area community, right? So uh, we got our fields. We got our lemon trees. Everything's dividing beautifully with the white fence. Now, white fence looks absolutely amazing every single time. I see white fence in the farm. Looks absolutely stunning. Now, look at this. Now, this is extra detail. This is going the extra mile. Look at the way she's using the rocks. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Oh, I want to do this myself. I want to do this now myself. This is absolutely beautiful for the farming. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Reliana, Reliana. This is absolutely stunning and lovely in the stonework. You, I want this. I want to do this. Oh my goodness. I just love the way this looks. I love it. I love it. I, I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, so as you can see, beautiful farm, right? In the rock edging, really nice. We're gonna little take a little turn right over here. Look at the backdrop. Look at this. Look at that. That's so good back there. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. All right. So we got a little seating area over here. Of course, we can't see the multiplayer, but with the beautiful clock, you know, and I can't wait. I can't wait to see if she's going to fill this up with more garden, more vegetable, more something. It's, it feels like that was like the gardening section, right? All right. So now we're going to go down the middle right over here. We want to take this in. This beautiful walkway leading that is attaching towards the, the beach area. But we want to see what's in the middle here and how she has it decorated. And again, you, utilizing a lot of the new stuff from the last DLC, bringing all these flowers, all this color, all of this coming together. And again, the stonework, the bushes, it's just everything is super on point. I love this. This is, this is kind of like, I like this style. I love this style. This is falling more in the way that I, I will approach my stuff. And I, it just makes me even more excited. It, it makes me even more excited because I'm like, oh my gosh, I can do this. I can do this in DDV. I can do it. Oh my goodness. Okay. So as you can see, we get a little more empty plot land. So I can't wait for the future to see what she's going to add over here. And as you can see on the middle here again, now it could be just like this. Maybe that's what she wants, you know? Maybe it's item count, you know, also, you know, cause we do have limits, but now we get to this beautiful section. So I'm gonna take it right here in the middle because she's done a beautiful arrangement here. Now we have the beautiful mushroom home right over here. And then we got the violins. We got this beautiful color, this beautiful flora right over here with all the flowers, but the violins are still in the show. Look at how it's stealing the show in all over here. It just pops so good. It pops so, so good. But again, I wish she using some of this design, some of the items to bring all these colors. The way she's flipping this over there and making it feel the other way, but that way you get different colors from two different point of views is smart. So, so smart. Okay, so as you can come over here, we're gonna come on this direction. We're gonna see the way everything looks towards this. And look at how beautiful the mirror still looks from this direction. Masterpiece. This is masterpiece. Man, the colors are so good. Everything just pops so well. Okay, so now we get to the mushroom home right over here. And one of the things, again, the statues. Okay, there's a couple of things here that are still in the show that we can see. These statues and the vine lamps, the way she's using them with the archway are still in the show is, it's what's part of it that's making this valley so amazing. But okay, so we're gonna continue and we're gonna go in here. And this Reliana, there it is, the beautiful Reliana, looking great by the way. Like like the dress and with the painting table here. It seems like you're getting ready to work and do some painting. I really love it, I really love it. Very colorful, just like her island. Beautiful, beautiful dress. I never seen that dress and with the hair. I mean, I, we're not here to review her her assemble, but I mean, it's really nice. It's really nice. And with the boots, spot on, super spot on, but looking good. And she gave me a smile. Look at that. 
love it. So again, we got a beautiful yard over here. I love this yard, the way she's in the way she's doing her yards for her homes are really nice, are really well done. Okay, so and as we leave, we're gonna go to this area, and it seems that we got the water well, you know, for fast traveling. Really nice. I love when people actually take a little bit from small to elaborate, whichever way. But you people do a little bit, and look at how beautiful it is with the hedges, a little flowers, you know, walk in, go in circle, and come back out. Nice, really nice. I just, you know, it's the little things sometimes, the little touches sometimes, it can just ele elevate, elevate your build to the next level. Okay, so as you can see, if we keep walking down, and here we find the Wally Garden. Now, look at how well this is done, because it's kind of hidden. You gotta take the path, you come over here, and then you make it into the Wally Garden. I think this is great. It's so unique. It's so well done. I love the way this is presented. It's just, it's so great. It's so great. Okay, so now then one of the next things now, after we finish down the middle, we're gonna go to the next section of the valley. And if I continue to do, do the way that I like to do things, we're gonna go over here. And oh my word, oh my word. We're really seeing. Reliana already building something. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay, we got. I want to leave that for last now. I want to. Okay, normally I go front. I go down this way, but I want to save that. I want to save that tree for the last stop in this particular plateau, right? So we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go this direction, you know, because you know the suspense. The suspense. Now, as you can see. You know, the, the swamps are great. I like how people do different things in swamp. Some people make it look very swampy. They incorporate different builds, different styles. So as you can see here, again, we got a, a lot of land, a lot of land so she can do stuff. So as we know, and I, I, I did mention it early in the tour that there are some areas that she still, you know, needs stuff. You know, she's waiting for the right stuff that is gonna inspire her to build. But look at that, we got the Ursula. I love when people put Ursula here. Now, I really like it. I just know it just fits right with all this stuff back here. I always feel like this is a perfect place for this home. And then again, everything is fully decorated. You know, so when Ursula wants to come out here, she has a place, tables, everything. Everything, right? All right, so as you can see, we have over here another beautiful Oh, I see what she did, a recreation area for the Monster Inc. buildings, for the apartment, for the college dorm. You know, you know, give, give you that little college vibe with a little snack machine, the little TV, you know, the Monster Inc. stuff, you know. This is great. This is smart. This is smart. You know, it, it is like a college area, right? You come over here and you get all the entertainment that you need. This is great done. This is super well done. I like it. I like it. You know, it's one of the new buildings that we got, you know, and a lot of people are putting putting really good use to them and create an amazing thing. Okay, as you can see, we have another beautiful farm right over here. You know, I, I always enjoy, it's not something that we see every time, but when somebody actually use DDV and the different biomes for the farming, I, I, I think it's, it's nice. I. I wonder if I, one day I can actually do that myself, incorporate more farming into, into all these areas, right? And maybe the right produce. Doesn't have to be as big as this, maybe just one square with the beautiful rock layout that she did on the, on the middle. That's what I'm talking about, right? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so as you can see, uh, a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of farm over here. And again, continue with the vine lamps, you know, everything's well divided. A lot of space to grow, to build, to do amazing designs, as you can see. So I'm gonna go a little bit on this direction now. She did a cluster of trees over here. So it's really cool. I like this feel. And then, before we see the new stuff, I'm gonna go this way. Because it looks like she created an entrance the home over here and then look at the way everything is it just it just feels a little more trap right to be able to come over here on this area and again we got a little cauldron and just very simple decorated 
but still matches the theme of the home of what's happening and going on in this section. Now, now we get to the point that I'm really excited. I'm really excited because, you know, a lot of people are doing this kind of builds right now and you see them everywhere. But it's my first time walking one. I'm walking one and I can't wait to experience it. So first thing, we got to get it from the front. We got to get it. I'm going to step back just a little bit so we can frame it all in. And look at this. Look, this is gorgeous beautiful and you can expand on this like she could use and bring it forward and make it even there's so many things there's so many amazing things that people are doing with this particular items right now in ddb you know it changes it changes the feel of a valley you know depending where you're using it how big it is you know it just gives you that whole different feel this is beautiful this is beautiful okay so we're gonna walk it inside we're gonna get in here and look at this this is so great. And she made like little rooms and look, look at that. Look, look, oh man, look, look at the little shelves with the, all the items in there. The beautiful columns, the pink again, another beautiful sitting. And again, more shelves with decorating. This is so well done. This is so well done. The fountains in the front, just stunning, just everything. Everything is just absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. If you're ever trying to do like a little Hercules build, this item are some of the best. I And I want to say, it really makes your valley stand out and look very different. You can create something so unique and so different to change the theme of what, you, what the way a valley could look like. These are great items. These are great items. Okay, so we're going to be right back and I'm going to walk all the way to the entrance towards the beach. So I'll see you there. All right, so now we made it to the beach entrance and I kind of step out a little bit more to the back because I kind of wanted to take the full effect as we walking down, going through the archway and then revealing the stairs. And as we reveal the stair, we see the beach and I can't wait. So many people do different styles of beach, right? They make it look very realistic. Some people really go all out and go in and create amazing beach design. But as I can tell right now in the very beginning, it seems that we got a little bit of both. It's like a mix of both, right? So we got an open beach area in the front. I love the Eric statues there. I think it's one of the best spots to put it. You know, it just, it complements everything, everything. It just matches so well. So when we look at the statue of Eric, I just love it. I love it right there. I love it right there. It looks so good. All right. So we look to the left, we got Stitch home, you know, and this is not the first time I see Stitch house here. It's very popular. People like to push this home over here. But look at this. Stitch building stuff. It's going to tear it apart. But you know, he has a little car. And look at the way they walk and everything. The way we got the bushes, the little walkway with the planks. Everything looking great. Look at the fence. Bell, Bell, you love Stitch? Do you love Stitch? Yes, you do. Look at the book. Oh my goodness. So many awesome little reference right over here for Stitch. Really nice, really nice. Okay, so as we're gonna continue forward on this direction, you can see that the beach itself is very open, free. Like if you go to a beach and it's very free, right? Maybe just few umbrellas, few towels on the floor, you know, but it's not overwhelmingly decorated on this side of the beach. It's very open, I like that take, I like that take. That's the great thing about the beach area, right? You can make it feel very beachy like very empty very minimal or you can go all out and both of them look incredible now it looks like we got a little carnival going on over here at the beach maybe they're starting to set up i like the craze idea because it makes it feel like they're setting up i really like that it's the first thing that came to mind it's like oh it's like they're setting up there a carnival is coming towards the beach and they're setting up the area now it seems like we got a beautiful oh 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 let's go look at this look at it I, okay 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 this is kind of cool this is kind of cool the way it's designed okay so we get the boat you know you can come over here maybe you land in and you know you're hungry right away and we got a very quick easy access to a restaurant right over here at the beach you know or maybe that's the private home and they got their own private chef you know Really nice, really nice. I know that's an item that a lot of people love right here. 
uh, and it looks great. The animation is great. First time seeing a person, you know, and it looks amazing. It looks amazing. Okay, so we're gonna continue to go in this direction. And as you can see, we got more beach. Now we get a lot of palm trees. I like this. I like this type of walkways right here at the beach. Now, I, we've done a few, and when they got palm trees and you're walking, it, it creates this little tunnel effect that I personally enjoy a lot. I just think it brings more, plus the beautiful green on the top, it just gives you this extra color because down here, you know, it's very sand, very brown, you know, so the green really stands out a lot. So I, I think as a design aspect, it's truly, truly great. All right, so we got the beautiful homes over here. So we got Eric, and as you can see, we got Ariel. I like that they're close together. Now, a lot of people do put the castle in the beach as well, and they put them like inside this area over there in the look over there. Sometimes some people put it in the Forest of Valor, but I, I like this take. I like the way it's done over here, very close together, and with Ariel homes over here. Very nice, very well put together. I wanna say this, this is really nice and well done, uh, complementing both houses together. All right, so as you can see, we, if we walk this way again, we got our stall over here, and again, another garden. I know the garden in the biome, so I'm gonna walk a little faster and still make sure that we can see it and look at this. And with the bananas and the coconut trees, I like this. I gotta rethink my stuff, you know? And I think this is why we love to do this, right? It makes you think for the future how you wanna. You know, the more you remember, take those screenshots, don't forget, so you have it in your file. But this is, it, it is great. It is great. But I'm loving the palm trees tonight. And I like the way it happened. Cause you start with no palm trees and then you get a bunch of palm trees. It's, it's well, it's well. It feels like a real island. It feels like a real island. Cause it's time you hear those bare spots, but then you get a bunch of palm trees. And Moana's play is, is nice. Moana place is so nice. Look at that. It is so nice with all the fish and this section over here with the frames and the table and again all of it and the stuff on the floor to fill it up on point on point moana's play is i love this i love this this looks incredibly good incredibly good that's so well done it is so well done all right all right, so now one of my other favorite things to do, and you guys know, if you've been following the Valley Tour, then you know that one of my favorite ways to enter the Forest of Valor, and you know, I say it all the time. <laughs> you probably hear it every single time, uh, is this direction. It, it is one of my favorite spots, because you never know what you're gonna encounter when you take this turn. I just know there's something about it. Sometimes it's magical, sometimes mystical, sometimes it's just as nature and just hits you, and it's wonderful, and it's just beautiful. You never know what you're gonna encounter. So as we take this turn and we enter the forest and we enter towards magical, magical forest. Look at this. Look at this forest. It's so magical. It's just, everything's coming down, sparkling, foresty. You can kind of see through it, you know, but it's very heavy, foresty, dense. This is a great forest. This is how, if you really want that forest look, this is a great example. You know, you can kind of see through the trees, but all you see is more trees, you know, and the top is just trees, right? Right, you covering, I love this. I love, this is a great take on a forest, the way it feels, the way it's designed. And as we look, walk forward, look at this. Look at this, look at the space right over here with the pines, when they get, you get this big one here, the main center of the attention when you walk in, that's the first thing you see. So you see this beautiful sparkles coming down. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. You know, do a focal point. All right, so we're gonna come this way uh, because one of the first section and we got the beautiful tree log home, you know, and I wanna see how she's using this. And look at, look at this. Look at Scrooge over here. Scrooge, are you buying all these books? Are you buying all these books? I love this outdoor area. This outdoor area is so nice. I like I like how, how she's using the flower pots. We've seen it. This is not the first time. 
the way she uses flower pots in her valley is super smart. It's well done. Oh my goodness. And then we get the home right over here. I love it. And this is great. It, this, you know, I like this one. I've seen it a lot also in the Sunlight Plateau. And I really like how it looks in the Sunlight Plateau too. Because it kind of looks like a little, it's like it could be a little dry, but then you got flowers on top. So in the forest, on the Sunlight Plateau, I like the way that that one feels every single time. It's just stunning. The waterfall display in the back just for this little area. Again. You know, one of the things I've been impressed about this valley as we continue to walk it is the way the items are being placed and used. They're very unique. They've got their own taste, you know, but it complements. It truly complements anything that she's doing. What Reliana is doing every single time in every single biome, in every single corner, next to a home, next to a building, next to a castle, is always so good and on point and it's matching it complements and it helps one another you know the contrast that she creates is amazing it is amazing look at this look at the castle and putting this right next to it and then not just that as you taking it in but and then this beautiful seating section right over here with the fountain absolutely nice absolutely nice and as you can see, this is if we go up this way, we go down to the beach. So imagine you coming this way and you can also, if you come this way, you know, not many times I feel like you get something great when you turn this turn. But look at this. We get the Merlin Tower and look at how this looks in the forest. Now, this, take my character out of here. This is a beautiful screenshot. This is a beautiful screenshot, a beautiful composition. Take the character out of the way and you have something amazing foresty looking. And again, we come over here and there's Merlin's. And Merlin got a nice place out here. Nice view. He can look up the sky because he's always researching. He's always studying. He's always teaching people. Really great way. Really great way. I, li I like this corner. I see many people also put Merlin in this corner and telling the story with a telescope and everything and having the open sky. Yeah, I think that works absolutely amazing. Okay, so as you can see, it's very forest-like, right? I think she's done a really great job. As you can see, we got flowers, we got bushes, you know, we got the pine trees. Made in such a dense that you can still enjoy as you're walking, but at the same time, you always run into trees. So it gives you that little forest feel. And then, of course, we got the frosted, but we're not going to go there just yet. So I want to backtrack just a little bit. I always like to take this bridge, and we want I want to kind of take it on this direction. And look at this. Look at this beautiful bridge. And the way the composition ends, you see the forest, you start seeing the stall, you start seeing things in between, but the green on the pines are what is sticking out. It's just really beautiful. We got the flo floaty lamps. We got a lot of the fruit bushes over here. So a really great way to complement all the extra coloring that she's bringing into the forest to the next bit over here with the fruits. Smart very smart and then look at this beautiful garden with the Rapunzel tower right over here that is being hidden in the forest that's how good this was it was so well hidden and then a beautiful again she's she's doing amazing things creating patio yard or this beautiful to complement the bill and tell the story and who it belongs to and as you can see this is great. This is so good. Again, take that screenshot if you need it, you know, so you get some inspiration. This is absolutely beautiful. I mean, truly, it, it's it's beautiful. I guess we got the water well right over there. And then, like every of the other biomes, we got a beautiful farming area for the specific items I believe that are for this area. And then we got the stall. You're inspiring me that I need to do at least a little bit of this. A little bit in each of the biome have their own products that grows there. Because I kind of, I'm falling in love with the idea. I'm falling in love with the idea. So thank you, Reliana. Thank you so much. Okay, so as you can see, we're going to cross over here. And now we're going to get to a lot of people. A lot of people love the, uh, the frosted biome, you know, right over here. Some people create amazing things. 
winter candy land. They keep it all for like Christmas season. So I'm excited to see what we see here today. But we are already starting with the beautiful statue complemented with the pink and the pink really looks great here because we got a bluish purple going on. So this is great. It complements, again, complements. She has great taste on the color palettes that she's using for her builds, for her biomes. And once again, as we go up, we start seeing the snowy forest. Now we do have a lot of snow clouds. I love that. I love that so much. I remember the first time seeing those in the Jackie tour, the Christmas, and I was like, oh my word. I was just so stunning. So stunning. But as you can see, look at this. So we got beautiful biomes, beautiful divisions, you know, uh, just creating another world, another area where people can walk and do recreation. Again, the white fence looks absolutely amazing in here. We got beautiful seating places. So if you come here for, with your date, uh, you can take a beautiful picture. I like this. I like this. I like that a lot. And then again, we got another home back here. We got the ice skating ring that I think it complements those two bills together perfectly. Actually, this is actually very on point. Like, I like this. I like this a lot with the iron and the iron benches and this and the sleigh next to it, the beautiful home and the ice cream. The, because if, if you imagine this, this could be in spring, this could be a beautiful pond in front of the of the home, right? But when it's winter, it frozen and then people use it for ice skating. I think it's so smart. I, I, li I like the aspect and I like the design of it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do I'm going to backtrack real quick. I'm, I always like to come from the bridge from this direction. Uh, so we're going to cross the bridge and see what else we have in store for us. Again, the frozen fountain, just frozen water. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And then she created like a little courtyard right over here. Now, again, centered it with, we got this tree in the way so we can see it as you can see, because we got the tree, but it looks beautiful. So most likely once we cross the bridge, we'll turn around and see it from the other side, but I think it's gonna look really good. Now, I love the snow as it's pouring down on us, crossing the bridge. We're gonna look back, turn around, and yeah. Now, it's, it's, it's kind of sad that the clouds are kind of covering the fountain because that fountain is so beautiful and you really can't see it from the other side. So that'd be my only thing right now out of this amazing valley is that maybe the cloud doesn't do justice. It does it just from one way, but it doesn't do it just the other way, if you get what I mean. But either way, it looks absolutely beautiful. Nothing that needs to be changed. It just, I wish I could see the fountain because I seen the composition that she did is absolutely stunning because you got the beautiful tree in the back. Then you got the fountain and then you got this tree, um, um, the bridge, right? So the composition is great. From this direction, I do feel like maybe the clouds are obstructing the view or what could be an amazing, amazing view. But from the other side, the clouds are great. So, okay, so now we got the beautiful, another cabin over here. We got another garden growing over here. I love this. I, you know, I'm loving, I'm loving the little garden. And then look at the nature on this side. So as we walk it, look at the way she's done the beautiful flower, the bushes, again, that little pink highlight that she's adding. It's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. And I know I said gorgeous many times in this, but it is gorgeous. That's all I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna keep saying it. That's the word for this video, gorgeous. Gorgeous valley. And then the view from over here is masterful, masterful. Okay, so now we gotta, gotta go all the way to the Sunlight Plateau, so we are gonna do a little time jump. See you soon. All right, so now we made it to the Sunlight Plateau, and I wanna say sometimes some of my favorite biomes and stuff that have been created have been in the Sunlight Plateau, so I'm always excited to see what people do here because there's so much room to do something unique and different in the Sunlight Plateau. And let's see, let's see what happens when we turn the camera. All right, all right, I'm getting the jungle vibe. We're getting that jungle feeling, love the trees. Oh my gosh, this view right here. This view is stunning with the moon, with the trees. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, I wanna see something. What, what we got over here? Ooh, ooh, we got a little RV parking lot. You know, you come over here. You, you, you wanna see the lions, you're on a safari. 
There we go. RV area and parking. Okay. All right. So this view, this view, this view is stunning, by the way. It's just the tree, the composition is absolutely great. All right. So we're going to walk. And as like you can see, we got again. She's already got a little farm going on over here, putting all the same stuff. Another farm over here using the different fencing. And I love the way she does that. You know, it's... It's great. The fencing, the openings, the... Uh, it's just... Bravo. Bravo. I, I mean, she's stealing my words. I, I, I'm already like, man, what more can I say about this beautiful area, about this beautiful valley? It's immaculate. I mean, I think I think one, one of the great takeaways to take about this valley as we continue to walk it is it never feels crowded, right? I don't know if you feel that. You know, but to me, it doesn't feel crowded. It just feels like the nature is perfectly balanced. The rocks, the trees, the bushes, the flower, what's growing organically and what she planted. You know, it's just everything is complementing each other absolutely beautifully. And, and again, like from far away, it looks full. When you go closer, you see opening, you see grass, you see space. It's such a delicate balance and it could have been done on purpose or it also it could have been done uh, accidentally or or she really knows what she's doing, right? No, but honestly, Riliana, I the balance that you're doing, if you thought about it, if we're planning, if it's not planning, the nature is so gorgeous here. It's just absolutely gorgeous with the trees, the way the way it just everything feels, you know, when I'm when I'm walking, when this whole time we were talking and the characters walking, the way the nature and the plants and the flowers from the ones you planted, from the ones that are just growing by themselves is incredible. Truly incredible. OK, so we come over here and we get to Pride Rock. Now, now look at that. Look, look at Nala. Look at that. I like that. And then we get a table and we get all I like this. This is a great idea. I like this idea a lot. You know, kind of like a little little shrine, something going on over here. Uh, really like that. Uh, again, we got another crafting station, kind of keeping it closed. We got Pride Rock that I, I see it and again, more often now in this corner. I think people are liking it in that corner a lot. And then again, more beautiful nature, the way the trees. And I like that we can walk, that we can walk and then look at that. This is another great view from over here. I like, you know, so something that I do appreciate from the DB a lot is when you stand far back way and people make these long walkways, right? They give you a feeling, they give you a sense, you know, and it's on this island, it's just on this valley, it's just being absolutely beautiful. You know, it, it, it takes your breath, it brings you peace, you feel calm, Berliana, you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. You're telling me that you don't know, that you don't know that this is too simple. You know what you're doing. This is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so we're getting to one of the hardest areas that we normally hear that people don't know what to do in this area. So we get into the full garden lands. Now, very important to always have a pumpkin farm and I'm not surprised I mean, I'd be surprised if there was no pumpkin farm here after every every area had a little farm going on. But we got the beautiful farm uh, of the pumpkins because you got to grow them. And we got more pumpkins over there. Let's go, Pumpkin City. I like that. And now that we got Jack, you know, uh, you know, we can decorate this whole area just for Jack with pumpkins and everything. Now, now, the great thing about this area, okay, so... A lot of people try to make it spooky. Now, I don't know what Rihanna is trying to do, but it doesn't feel spooky. It feels very beautiful, scary, beautiful, scary, burly and it's scary. You know, uh, the purple and the way she's highlighting everything over here, it looks absolutely beautiful. Like, honestly, this right there, when you look this way, it's not that scary. The purple trees, the little fountain, I mean, the fountain will be the most scary thing. The other house looks a little more abandoned. The red, it looks absolutely beautiful. So it can be done that you can create something cute and adorable 
in the Forgotten Lands. It's showcasing right here. Don't think have to be spooky. Doesn't have to be spooky. And as you can see, we got more homes. We got another castle. We got Penelope's again, complemented to one another in this area. And then if we walk it over here, we get another pumpkin farm that is important. You know, guys, you know, you need that money for items, for decoration, to order so many things that we need. So we get to the pumpkin, we come over here, and then we get to the end. And then we get to the end and we got over here. I like it. I'll, again, every single valley, you know, uh, like I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of areas that she still wants to do and work on. It was it was ready to be toured, so that's why we're here, you know. But I can't wait because there's opening, there's spaces, there's squares, and depending, and like she told me, depending what the DVD brings in the future, there's revamp, there's stuff to do, and then we'll be back. But like always, after we finish here, we're gonna get back into the plaza to talk. A little bit more okay so now we're back on the plaza and what can i say look at this gorgeous just where i'm standing surrounded with nature surrounded with trees surrounded with the new arches the pink the green the highlight the sky the lighting everything is so good everything is just amazing and what an amazing valley my biggest takeaway on this valley is just the way the nature is not full it's not empty but the way everything is just placed, it has a perfect balance of beauty, the contrast of the colors that she's using, highlighting the patios right next to the homes, you know, everything, the way she's utilizing some of the items, you know, is absolutely amazing, you know. We saw new things, new places, new ways that she's, people are using items, the way she's using items, and hopefully a little bit of that brought you a little inspiration today. And what can I say, a beautiful valley, a beautiful designer, a beautiful person that has created, put her love and passion into a game that she loves, that she enjoys, and that she just truly doing amazing things, not just for herself, but for other people right now to watch, to look, and to be inspired. I want to say thank you so much to Riliana for letting me come in and tour her valley. And thank you everyone so much for watching. And don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and I'll see you next time. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.